Hello and welcome. My name is Nilaus. This is episode 37 of our Let's Play campaign of Factorio. We are playing Vanilla and it is time to expand into this little realm here and start working on some nuclear power. I've actually been... Uh, let's start by just shoving down some blueprints. Actually, I don't think I have enough of everything. I need some more. Oh, I need some more of everything. Okay. What, what I want to do is... It struck me that... Now that, okay, let's rush down here and see. I have actually 42 plus 42. So I'm now in a position where I can't start my Covarex process. And therefore I should start my Covarex process. These lines are pretty dead. So we're gonna need to refresh those very soon. And look at this wonderful thing. Oops, I lost my car, it happens. I definitely need more of these. Do I have, I don't know if I even have lights lamps oh yeah i do i do have lights because i actually need quite a bit of lamps i will not be handcrafting pure i will not lamps and i need a lot of lamps here what is that that's like it's like not enough that's what i because i have an idea and ideas i are dangerous uh i'll be taking this need some more reds and it's more more of everything And I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten. Okay, that should be that should be enough for now. And what about our lights? That's eighty plus one hundred. I definitely need more up here. So at this point, I have to be both handcrafting because I, the reason why I'm doing this is I want this nice, nice little display here. Okay, let's go over and pick up some more things that we need for. For the, the nuclear power plant, or not the nuclear power plant, for the Covarex process. It's actually the Covarex process and not the nuclear power plant. I just want the Covarex process up and running oops, as fast as possible. Drive on the roads, that's why they're there. You bastard. Good. Let's see, what are, how are we doing here? 25? That's kind of a lot. For what I need. <laughs> Let's just do 12. I think that's... No, you know what? I should like take more. I'll take 24. There. Because I can then upgrade my conversion from... Whatever they're called. What are they actually called? Oops. <clears throat> from the normal raw uranium into the centrifuged one. Go up here, get some more. <laughs> you are just cracking away. 80 lamps, so now I have I have enough lamps, for sure. Let's sit down here. I think that's all I need at this point. That one is not a concern. Okay, now we can stop building the Corex. Why do I need 300 lamps for the Corex? Yeah, you will see. You will see. I think this is dwindling quite a lot, and we're going to need to scale that up at some point. Yep. Yeah, I will leave this one at this point there. First and foremost, let's get a blueprint. That is a blueprint. That one will place a nice little blueprint here. I don't want to interject too much. Um, this is, seems to be a great place to place it. Is this in contact? No, it is not. I'll pick up the car because I don't want the car to be parked right there alone. All by its lonesome. <clears throat> now the next thing I need is of course get some of this. What else? Come on robots, do work. That one also needs to disappear and up here, let's see. Just look at the area. Okay. I need a lot of area over here. Okay, that's interesting. I can do capacity bonus or should I? What is the most important? Stack inserter. This is inserter capacity bonus. Stack inserter pickup bonus plus two. I like this being faster actually. I should have everything so I can research whatever I want. Maybe nuclear fuel. 
Oh no, I want speed modules for sure. Now I want to build the next part and that is how do we build a good man with that one. That's awesome. Look at this and is that one I'm missing? There was a beep. What else? Another one? There. Look at that. We have now a nuclear power sign. I like this. But now we know this is where we have our nuclear power. Now the next part I want to build, I think I have a blueprint for it, don't I? It's not a lot here. How much do you have? You have 400. That'll be gone soon. Oh, I'm just being attacked on every front. There, there. That's just how it goes. I really should be breaking out soon with the tank and everything. This is a Coverix process, but I think we'll be building it from scratch. So that we can, so that can, instead of me just plopping down a blueprint and saying, this is how you do it. And I feel it's much better to, whoa, that's a mistake because I'm going to need something coming in here. Right? I don't know what. Ah, it doesn't matter. Then we can take this one. That'll be gone. It, it's not going to be a problem. Let's take this part. One, two. There. Do I have any left? It's interesting why that works, why that's disappearing. I think I did build too many because I'm going to need two more. I'll take you out, I'll take you out. And of course, so this. Is that one even covered? No, it is not. It's copper. Okay. Lots of copper ore. I'm handcrafting a lot down here because I don't have enough. <clears throat> I don't go back to the base just to pick up a lot of stuff. I don't really need. I'll just, oops, build it down here. Come on. Right. And what else? What else? Okay, they are now working. I want this one to be this long. more. Okay, there's one more. Two more. Great. Let's pick them up. You pick up. And I'll pick up a few. Got it. <clears throat> I'll be funneling something up here. It seems I only have the red belt. So we use the red belt. I'm not too picky on that. That is not a problem. Right, let's start working on what we actually want to build. I'm going to start building two. So, these two will be our Kovarix enrichment process. That's all good. That means I'll be using... So this would be a beacon. So, that's the kind of the room I have. I'm going to get one in on one side, and I'm going to get something on the other side. Actually, out. Yes, that's where we are at this point. Let me just check if down here we have some other ones working. Yes, and I have a few of these left. Let's actually just build a few more because I'm going to need it. I have plenty of these and I have plenty of stack. So, so that just means I cannot get outside of this realm because there will be beacons on the outside. Now, what does this need? This one need. This one needs stuff inbound. Might as well just take it inbound here. It's in the beginning. Maybe it will need a lot, but in later on, it will not. And here, I also have the outbound here. <clears throat>
This one has outbound 41 and 2. I think I'll just put everything on the same belt. I think we want to build something that's really simple. This one will take good stuff. And I'll just build another one. This one will take the bad stuff. Not the bad stuff, but not just uh, not really needed right now. This one will go straight into here. So it'll be on the inside. The other one will be on the outside. What I need to make sure of is that this does not block. This one will not block if I do this. Now I believe it goes on the outside if I do it this way. Let's test it. Yes, it does. Great. And I will then also, at this point, just have a single, single like this. You'll be taking only what is residual here. And put it into a box because that's sort of the end game and now it's the point of taking some of these oh that's not good enough let's kill it because there was not enough room for for any of this okay that one pick it up not enough room for beacons so let's say beacons has to be there, at least. Like that. Got it. That one. I'll put this nice and slowly here, just to see how things pan out. Picked up, picked up. The whole point of this is making sure that it goes in the right place, right? I want this one to be jammed all the time. <clears throat> and we are now in action. So the next part I want to do is just scale this up and put some beacons around it. Beacons around it means, obviously, modules here. I'll be picking this one up as much as I can, but it will be constrained so that this does not fill up. So this is, yeah, they do have some extra. This one is not optimized in the sense that it is possible to do something with tricky. Well, that's, that's a big attack now. Now it's, I'm just noticing it. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, it is possible to do something where it only loads in until it's 40. It has 40 and then because what it will happen is that this will go up to 80 and that means there's a lot of impact. Okay, now we see that what stuff is working. You can see the rate it's being exported is also the rate it's being imported. And a few passes on here. So, there's now 5 in this one, there's now 8 in this one. And before it was 4 and 7 and every cycle there'll just be one more until they have 80 stockpiled here and then they'll continue to pass on. What I need to do, and that's just, just minor upkeep that I need to do, is to make sure that when this eight plus this five is not 13, but 40, that's the time I build another one, another one, and another one. And because once they, they were self-contained little loop here, and that's fine. And this one, I need to make sure that it does not block. I do that with a bit of string here. So you'll only pick it up when this is 1,000, 2, 3, 4, and it's less than 4,000. Let's just say that. When bad stuff is less than, you know what, it doesn't even need to be that much, 1,000. Yep, got it. Now I can hook it up down here, and it'll work. This one is just a stockpile, just making sure that it does not, it does not flow, overflow, or it does not block because of lack of anything here. Great, these ones, yeah, sure. 
It should also be put on the belt. Did I? I can do that. I'll, I'll do that then, you know? I think that's a very reasonable thing to do. The design of this is not particularly good. I'll be the first one to admit that. And it does not need red belt, but you know, this is advanced stuff, so why not just build it right or build it nice? Here. I'll just take an omelet. Soda, put it back in. Because <clears throat> then it'll go on this belt. Let's try it. Things are being put in here. Good. See, they will slip by one, but that's not really a problem. So there's 13 plus 19. Did they start a new cycle? 13 plus 19. You can see it is getting there. And this is actually all I need to do at this point. Keep an eye on if any of these. And we can see it will reach the end of the line, but only barely at this point. Let's have a look at the train. Yeah, they are, they're still going. And uranium power up here. Are you being filled? You have 1.6k. Wow, so it'll run out soon for sure. At this point, the next thing I want to build, because I need to... This will not work without beacons and speed modules. So let's build beacons and speed modules. Oh, there must be something wrong because this is just running extremely slow. Oh, that's... What? I wonder how long that has happened. That's quite peculiar, isn't it? That must be like ages. And that, be oh, this, because that's the only intake there. Wow, that's a kind of a disaster, isn't it? Okay, so we are we're kind of out of steel. I did not even see that. Okay, well, I'm gonna need steel very soon. I think this little patch here might be a great opportunity to put it into steel. It's, I can build one lane right here, but I actually need two lanes. I do need two lanes. And there is room for two lanes here. That's not really a problem. I'll take two lanes in of iron. It will not be possible to do two lines, two red lines in, but it, it can be two yellow lines. But it's. And that's okay because this is actually only yellow so one red line yeah this one should be able to generate one red line i guess that's more important jump in the car please the reason why it's more important because if i don't have steel the whole base just doesn't really produce the interesting stuff that i wanted to and i'll need some yellow belts as well move up here yellow belts that's a lot of yellow belts What else do I need? I need miners, for sure. They are up here. How many miners do I need? All of them? That might be a bit much. Also need some power poles, 100 of those. Lights, we, we don't even have enough lights. Well, that's, that's a good thing. We take some lights. That's a lot of lights. And I think this is good enough. Let's head down and increase our iron production, our steel product. It's good because I have this one that is untapped, so great to tap it. Question is which way? That way? That way? I think I'll lead it this way because then the, 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 slacker, the stacker will be smaller. We will just need a little blueprint. We'll just grab it from this one maybe should be fine and I'll take it sort of this part because that's a module in my mind actually a bit more hooks
That'll be a module, yeah. What happened? Ah, they killed that one. Don't care. <clears throat> Remember to turn them the right direction. I think it's more important down south here. You turn the right direction. Is that correct? It is actually correct. Slowly building everything here. And that's what we need. Now all we need is a place to get what? Get some power and then this one should be up and running. And power these robots. Come on robots, you need to power to fuel faster. I wish that was, that's something that isn't really great gameplay, this robot charging thing. Not very compelling, to be honest. And, oof, we got it. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's kind of a shame, actually, that it's four. Because I, then I, that kind of limits my fun times with, with splitters. I will not be faster. What I could do is actually I could get this into two red belts. Why don't I? X and green. And it might as well be one of them that's correct. Oh, here. And then we have red belt. Red belt. Here. That one. And the other one we'll get in here. Would like this one to be prioritized though. Why are you there? Ah, uh, that's kind of important. Broke something, I'm sure. I'm sure. Let's see, can it support both? I don't know if it can. I think it should be able to. And I guess I'll be upgrading this a bit. Some would argue against it. Some of these are actually quite long, so I wanna make sure that it's not the yellow belt that's constraining. It is 21 of these to one red belt. That is actually starting to get there in terms of these yeah see it's already already filled up before there good they are now two full belts here of course this one's stuck so whether it's a full belt or not it's hard to say and this full belt here is enough for this part All of this disappears, disappear. This part as well, all, all gone. I've sent someone out, that's fine. I don't think this is necessary, or I'm pretty sure it isn't necessary. The reason why it's not necessary is because it will not be able to fill up, but nonetheless, I actually like this. The reason for me liking this, because it's faster. Whoops. 
X1 there. I'll just build this one and I don't want I'm not gonna build the other one up. I'm not that naive. But I like this one just to get to the end of the line a bit faster. A bit more efficiently. See, that should be red everywhere. Maybe I missed like one tile somewhere, but that should be good. Okay, this is not exactly full. That's a bit of a shame, I think. A bit of a shame that it's not exactly full. And why is it not? It really should be. Uh, that's because it's not actually correct here. It is not a correct split up because these things down... Now these things down here, they should be able to get in here. That should give me one full belt. Look at that. Why is this not working? Why is this not a full belt? This one can take at least one full red out. This one's barely moving. So this one definitely should get more than one full red belt inbound. As long as there's gaps in this one, the gaps will go on the other side. Okay, now it's stuck here. Do we have steel production up and running? Yes, we do. Everything except the last one. The last one is kind of getting there. Last one is getting there. Great. We now have recovered steel production. It's not fast, not a lot, and that's going to be an issue later on. I need to scale this up to vastly, vastly bigger, but that's not going to be now because this will keep us covered. Why are they lit there? Anyway, we will be wrapping up this episode, so thank you very much for joining. We are now starting on the nuclear power production. Should we just, at a glance, take a look at how much we've crafted by now? We have now 36 plus 22, so it's actually time for me to build another one. Great. Thank you for joining. See you next time. Bye.